All right, guys. I'm at Walmart looking in the magazine section. I spot this Miles Morales Spider-Man. Is this free issue for Walmart customers? Let's see if I can get this for free. What's up guys, welcome back to J Ru Productions and another exciting comic book haul. I'm just testing things out. Hope you guys like the style of this comic book haul. I'm making full advantage, taking full advantage of my brand new LED floodlights just to add a whole never, another level of excitement to my comic book hauls. As you can see right there, we have uh, two free comic books, DC Future State and also Marvel Stormbreakers. The brand new 2020 lineup actually is almost 2021 now. Hope everybody had a Merry Christmas. And I also got this free Batman and Catwoman poster. Get it at a local comic book shop. And also this Batman Black and White. Great read. All right, let's start things off with those free comics. And this, I paid, um, if you buy 25 comics, they are ten dollars i believe from this kind of book shop i got this very nice life of captain marvel awesome art great cover right there beautiful it's gonna be a beautiful read and we have this the unity lost chapter first time ever seeing it now i've read the unity um story and it's the 90s valiant crossover it was a very exciting read if you haven't checked it out make sure you check it out it's kind of like a retro read and I didn't, I didn't know this one came out. That's why I decided to put it in my collection. This one is hard to come by, guys. This crossover between Top Cow and Marvel, the Magdalene crossover with Daredevil, the Man Without Fear. And this one is first time I've ever seen it. It's an exclusive variant, one of these giveaways, promotions with uh, Breast Awareness, Cancer Awareness um, Foundation, teaming up Valiant. This is the Faith Special Edition. It says boobies right here. Vans, teaming up with Vans, uh, Warp Tour 2017. Dark Passages. Uh, I think this came with a, uh, as part of a giveaway with a trade paperback, I think. Probably most likely Shadow Man. This one, The Flash, Barry's Day Off. Uh, I think there's a full appearance of Godspeed, prototype number one, based off the uh, PlayStation 3 video game, Resident Evil, check it out. I love these video game inspired comics from Wildstorm Comics. This is Blood Drenched First Issue, Bioterrorism, Security, Assessment Alliance, the BSAA. This is, uh, oh, I think I got this the other dead because it's signed by... Um, who is that? I can't really read it. Shopner White, something like that. Either the writer or the artist. This Batman Grandel. Looks like they got it from a Half Price Books. But very nice cover is Ash Can with a metallic red ink cover right there. Let me see the lighting. What can be best? I'm using my ring light. Alright, we have Moon Knight, uh, number 26, Scarlet Redemption Part 1. Here is Scarlet Redemption number 29, Moon Knight. Continue on, number 31. And here is number 33 with Hobgoblin. Uh, is this better? <laughs> that ring light was in the way, showing off a weird reflection. I'm still playing around with um, video editing, lighting, audio aspects, trying to improve on my YouTubing skills. We got the Moon Knight, number 34, with Grudge Match. And here's number 39. Here's number 41. Looks like... Uh, 
fighting against the Hobgoblin version of Moon Knight. It could be a first appearance, but who knows? And this one, number 42, continue on with Infinity War crossover. Ah, that's a little bit better. I was putting it directly behind me. Now it's off in an angle, so it doesn't show off a reflection. Here we go, that's a lot better. Moon Knight, number 48. His name is Dead Zone. That can be the first appearance of Dead Zone. Continue on number 49, fighting against Dead Zone. Um, do you guys prefer the green screen or more like this LED special effect? Of course, this green screen, green screen takes more time to edit. Here is the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles with the Savage Dragon. Now I have the other one uh, crossover, you know, the red one with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This one is the first time I've ever seeing it. So uh, this is definitely harder to find. DC Special Raven number one, finally in her own emo series. So if it does well, maybe if they have their own animated series or TV series, this should uh, skyrocket in value. Here's a Marvel Action Spider-Man. Uh, first time I've ever seeing it. Looks like, you know, you have, wait, this is Seattle, look at that, that's Space Needle. We have uh, Miles Morales and all the Spider-Gwen right there. So that can be a special crossover right there. And Preacher, special One Man's War from DZ Vertigo. Now, surprisingly, um, this was in the uh, back issues bin. Fantastic Four number 208, this came out in 1979, pretty good condition right here. Uh, fighting against Sinks. Rest in peace, Cherry Bozeman, uh, Black Panther World Wakanda. It looks like Marvel released the news that um, they are not going to continue on with a re Black Panther re replacement. It's, uh, but th they're going to use uh, her, her, his sister, most likely, to replace him. Shade the Changing Woman. It could be the first ish, first appearance of Shade the Changing Woman. It's always been the Shade the Changing Man. They should got to mix it up because it's 2020 after all. And here's an early issue of Invincible, number 81. By the way, it's a great read. Can't wait for the anime series to come out. Captain Marvel number one. Wow, this is probably like the third volume, I think. When Captain Marvel used to be a guy, Marvel. Check this out. Ninja at number one, um, this is an exclusive comics dungeon, a local comic book shop who offered variant covers. Unfortunately, they went out of business, uh, I think, a couple of years ago, or perhaps this year. I'm not sure if it could do the COVID. Here is Godzilla in the Hell. This is super exclusive. I couldn't even find this on Comic Price Guy or Key Issue Comics. Um, comics dungeon exclusive. We already know Godzilla in Hell number one is highly sought after, but this is even more exclusive. All right, now I'm gonna hit you guys up with some exclusive Star Wars comics. If you haven't watched Mandalorian season finale, um, what can I say? You guys are way behind. Need to catch up because make sure you stay uh, at post credit because it includes a special uh, trailer to an upcoming series. Mandalorian is so fun to watch. Yeah. I'm looking forward to new ones. So we have Star Wars Darkness number 34. This is the volume one of the Dark Horse Star Wars comic back then when they had exclusive rights in producing Star Wars comic books. And that's what most of these uh, new movies and uh, shows are based upon. Star Wars Infinity is number three, A New Hope. I wonder if they got the uh, movie name from that, A New Hope. And then here's another darkness. Here's number issue number one. Perhaps could be a first appearance of a, a character. I'm not sure. Star Wars number 22. This is the uh, volume, what, like four, I think? When Marvel took over. Since uh, Disney owns Marvel now, they have the exclusive rights. Number 23, Princess Leia and Han Solo. Here's number 37, a whole bunch of stormtroopers. This must be the, uh, like, the sergeant of stormtrooper, whatever you call it, that runs the show. Here's number 38. Uh, I think that's uh, Luke Skywalker. Number 41, that's most likely Luke Skywalker, a young one. Here's number 42, Han Solo leading them into battle with an X-Wing in the background. 
I gotta admit the art isn't all that uh, great. Oh, La Roca. I know he can draw better than that. Maybe he was tired. <laughs> Here's number 43, all right, Princess Leia. I don't know who that is. Kind of looking like a character from Wonder Woman. 44, that's like looking into the future. Gives you hope, right? When you kind of look off in that direction, right? Incline direction, positive angle direction. There's some math for you. Here's number 47, uh, into the mouth of some type of alien creature. Number 48, looks like uh, the stormtrooper is uh, dead from, uh, who are those octopus creatures or squid <laughs> creatures? Here's number 10. And here's number 11, Chewbacca fighting, fighting against like a somebody in the desert it looks like. Here's number 12, all right, oh. That's a young Luke Skywalker right there. All of the, everybody young. Uh, rest in peace to those who have passed away. But they are legends now. Here's number 13. I really like this cover right here. Beautiful art. My Diodato. Legend in his own right. Prince Leia. In the background of... Um, in the foreground of Darth Vader. Controlling this, the evil empire. Here's the uh, Chewbacca versus Chewbacca... Creature number 14, and lastly, I love this cover right there. Number 16, all new story Rebel Jail starts now. With, uh, I believe that's Princess Leia. All right, so hope you guys enjoy this mini uh, comic book haul. By the time you watch this, I hope you guys have had a happy new year, and uh, let's all pray that 2021 will be a lot better than 2020. All right, take care of yourselves. Uh, take care of your health, stay safe out there, and happy collecting.